Hello everyone, welcome to Everybody Loves Zippers. Um, we are going to talk today about jean zippers and how to repair them when your zipper on your jeans have done this. Let's jump into it. Okay, for this repair, um, we are going to fix this zipper here on, this, on these jeans. And this repair is only for flies that have most of the teeth intact. Uh, I've received emails and comments from people asking like what to do when you to fix a, a jeans when like a tooth is missing here. Um, basically what happens is when a tooth is missing somewhere in the middle, if you want to try to repair it, you can. It's just where that tooth is missing is going to be the new bottom. So rather than the zipper coming all the way down to here where the real bottom stop is, that missing tooth is gonna be your new bottom. So depending on the size of the jeans and how they fit, if you can make that the new bottom, then go ahead and repair them. Um, but for this purpose, we are going to fix this fly here as if um, all the teeth are here, which they are. So let's go into it. I'm gonna zoom in to get the repair going. Okay, so the things that you're gonna need for this are our trusty pliers. Um, you guys have seen these before in previous videos. If not, I use pliers. People call them wire cutters. Other people call them nippers. Whatever you call them, this is the tool that we use here at our factory. Um, the other tool that I'm going to use is just my handy Leatherman, which uh, needle nose pliers. And you're gonna need these just to crimp uh, the top stops back on. We are going to remove the top stops and we're going to use our wire cutters here, our pliers, whatever you want to call them. And we're just going to get right into the top stops under here and we're going to pinch a little bit and it should pop right off. Okay, so we got this side off. That top stop is off, you're gonna save it. You wanna use this because um, when you're done, you're gonna reuse this top stop, so you're just gonna put it aside. And you're going to do the same thing with the other side. You're gonna turn this over here, and you wanna take off that top stop here. Same idea, get the pliers right underneath it and just give it a little bit of a squeeze. It should pop right off. I know it's a little bit hard to see, but the sewing has made this fold right over the top stop, so I'm trying to hold it open, but it'll just pop right off here. So I have this top stop off, put it aside, and now what we're going to do is we're gonna cut off a, cu a couple teeth, I would say two or three. Um, just take your pliers and you're gonna take this top tooth here and just work down. So the same side, number of teeth you're taking off on one side, you're gonna do with the other side as well. So I'm gonna take off three on this one because this fly is pretty long. And you're gonna take off all the teeth from the cord away from the zipper teeth, away from the zipper tape, I'm sorry. Okay, so taking off three teeth on this side, uh, and I'm gonna do the other side and I'll come back to you. Okay, so we've taken off teeth on both sides, about three. Now we're gonna have to work this slider right off the top so that we can button, see how it just fell right off the top essentially. So now we have our slider off. We're going to get down into the zipper here and what we're gonna wanna do is basically start putting the zipper teeth together because they've fallen apart. They've come off, so we want to make sure they come back together. And you just start to lay the teeth on top of each other one by one, and you start basically what I call buttoning up the zipper. And it's really hard to see because this fly is blocking it. But you just take your teeth and you just start to re-engage them like you're buttoning up the zipper one by one. So 
So you can kind of see how it's engaged a little bit. So I'm just working this up. And essentially it's just laying the teeth. Okay, so I basically put the zipper back together from the bottom all the way to the top. Um, we have the two or a few teeth that we're missing that, or that we cut off here at the top. Now what we're gonna wanna do is we wanna put our slider back on. Um, this is where it gets just a little bit tricky, but we wanna get this mouth back onto the cord here and here. And this top tooth might disengage a little bit while you're doing it, just keep making sure that when you're ready to put the slider and engage it onto the teeth, you're gonna have to make sure those come back together. So I'm gonna put the slider back on right now. So by putting the slider back on, we're gonna take the mouth here, this mouth, and we're just gonna slip it on one side first and then on the other. And you can kind of see how it's come apart a little bit, and that's fine, that's gonna happen. Um, just wanna make sure this gets back on. I know my hand's kind of blocking it, it's just I have to get an angle from the camera. So you can kind of see, I'm trying to get it onto this right side here. Okay, there it's on. So now what I need to do is just get these teeth back together here. Okay, so I'm putting them back together almost to the top. And now that the top, very top tooth is back together, I'm gonna take this slider and just slip it right over the top of the teeth. Okay, so now I have it on. I'm gonna give it a little bit of tug and it's back onto the track. And there you go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just put on the top stops that we took off earlier. And you did lose a few teeth, but not a big deal. Fly is gonna be covered for the most part, so. So I set the top stop to the top of the tooth there. And I'm gonna grab my needle nose pliers and my Leatherman here. I just have them. Let me just adjust this. Take my needle nose pliers here and I'm just gonna crimp them on to the zipper tape. Okay, that's one side. Then I'm gonna take the top stop to the other side, put it on here at the top of the top of the zipper near the top tooth. I'm going to crimp it to set it. And just check to see that it's on there so it's not moving anywhere, okay? And we're gonna test the zipper now, take it to the top, and if it stops, you're all set. So that is how you repair a denim zipper. Now, when this zipper pops off one side of the track, most likely um, what's happened is that this mouth has gotten too big. So one quick remedy is just to take pliers um, and make sure that this is pinched all the way down so that it's engaging with the teeth. Um, other than that, that's how you fix your zipper on your jeans. If you like what you've seen, please hit the thumbs up button below. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me, Hiram at youcanzippers.com and subscribe to our channel so all of our uh, zipper repairs go directly to you. Thanks for the time.